Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episode 571. Uh, now guys, I made a kind of post about it, but I just wanted to let you know, if you haven't seen that, that next week uh, I'm going to be going on holiday for a couple of weeks. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but that means that this week I'm going to try and fit in episodes and editing whenever I have time. You know, so I'm just going to try and get a bunch of ones like done and scheduled for the channel uh, so that when I'm away there'll still be videos uh, going up on the channel but that means that for the next couple of weeks it's mostly going to be one episode per video until I come back uh, and then when I come back we'll go back to uh, back to normal but yeah guys that's how it's going um, you know thanks so much for everyone that supports the channel uh, you know I really appreciate it guys uh, this is going to be the first holiday in a while, so I'm buzzing for that. But you know, I I want to get my get my one piece fix before I go. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks so much. And if the, you know, I'm sorry about the, uh, you know, it being one episode of video for a couple of weeks. But I just like I'm gonna have to, like I said, I'm gonna have to fit in an episode here and there when I have time, um, just to kind of cover me for those two weeks. But yeah, guys. Thank you, again, I know I keep repeating myself, but yeah, I appreciate it. Um, and then when I come back, I don't actually know what I'm going to be covering in this week then, um, considering where this arc is kind of... It feels like we're coming to a nice conclusion here. The last episode's uh, Big Mom's crew has showed up. A couple of members of Big Mom's crew have showed up and, you know... The factory's been destroyed and we've ate a lot of the sweets in the banquet. So we're going to get a confrontation with an emperor. And I know that you guys have kind of told me that I know the translation um, for these parts of One Piece is Big Mom with an A. But you guys have said to me it's Big Mom, M-O-M. So I know that. It's kind of similar to Hody. You know, you guys let me know in an L, you know, the translation uh, will be different. Uh, from what it should be, but, God, you know, because she, she, I'm looking forward to seeing this, actually, because she is the emperor that we know the least about, you know, we obviously, we know Shanks, we know Blackbeard, oh, Blackbeard, we know them very well, but Big Mom hasn't really been mentioned too much, at least Kaido, the other one that we haven't seen, He's been referenced a couple of times, like uh, in Filler Bark he was getting talked about, and then obviously when the war was about to kick off, he was having run-ins with Shanks. We didn't get to see that, but he's like he's being mentioned throughout the story. Uh, so, let's see. Let's see how this is going to go. Oh, God, I'm worried. I'm worried about this, guys. I, I, I'm worried about this because this is the next level, you know, because like you think about the frame of reference we have, like Whitebeard was an emperor and he was just badass, but how powerful he was and we've seen how powerful Shanks is, you know? So like Big Mom and Kaido must be on that level, you know, even stronger than like admirals. So let's let's get into it. Let's get into it and see uh, how it's going to go, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Everyone that has comes back, watches comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so so much i really appreciate it yeah let's do this one piece episode 571 let's go That's... okay let's see them members of big mom's crew what what peckums what is a lion Okay. Oh my god, look at his eyes. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this. Oh no, Luffy's here. Oh don't 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 mention the banquet. Don't mention the banquet. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna mention the sweets, isn't he? Yep. Yep. Yeah. 
well, you gave him the opportunity there. Like, you, you, you dropped him in it, guys. Don't try and silence him now. <laughs> yeah. Notorious. Notorious. Oh, no. He's going to, Luffy's just going to tell him. Luffy's just going to tell him. Nah, no, he's just... Oh, no. He doesn't understand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. He, he doesn't get what's happening here, guys. You need to explain to him. <laughs> oh, why does he keep pulling up these sunglasses? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see the other guy. Okay, what's with this music? What's this guy all about? What? What? Oh my god. What's going on with this crew? Member of the Longfeet tribe. Okay, so there's Longfeet tribe along with... The long arm tribe. Oh, th these they look like characters out of like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> oh, he's going to explain. Charlotte Lingling. Okay, so we have her name. Okay. How's Luffy going to respond to this? We don't love it. Let's. Let's let's see how this plays out. Ten tons. That's excessive. Yeah, that's a that's a bit much. Sanji. This this. Okay. So we know that she's going to be nothing like that. We know she's going to be nothing like that now that Sanji's had that vision there. Okay, here we go. Mm hmm. Okay, Luffy. Yeah, not going to respond well to that. Exactly. Uh, Luffy being the voice of reason? <laughs> like. We've, we've, we've took a turn here. Where is this? What is that? Oh my god, are we going to actually get to see her? Whole Cake Island. I love it. Tea Party. Oh my god, it is. It's like Alice in Wonderland. Oh my god, what is, what is she got, what is this? Oh. Why don't you wait for them? And... What? Did she just eat her own crew? Like, what just happened? What? Who's this? A woman with three eyes? What is going on here? Okay. Oh man. It's kicking off here. Let's see this. This crew is full of very unique characters. Oh my god. What is going on with this? Okay, yeah, so Sanji's vision, way off, way, way off. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, my God, she's actually calling them. Is this going to be our first interaction? Oh, let's oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Luffy is raging. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. Neither one of them want to answer. 
No wonder after seeing her. Oh, look at me. Nope. Just, yeah. Just goes for it. Just goes for it. He, he doesn't have any other gear. Well, he, well actually, he does. <laughs> Sorry. That was a bad uh, analogy to use there. <laughs> Oh. oh, wait a minute, it's maybe because of Gap. Yeah, there we go, it's Gap. I was thinking she was going to mention something about the Will of D there, but then I thought, no, it'll be because of Gap. Yes, and Wiffy's famous now as well. Oh, Luffy's... Oh, I get what he's doing. I get what he's doing. Right. Yeah, he's trying to... He's trying to protect so they don't go after Fishman Island. Yeah, because she's supposed to be protecting it. She's me her name is meant to be keeping people away. And if he said that he's done that... Oh, Luffy. She's not buying it. She's not buying it. She saw through that quite easily. Yeah, we, well, you did eat them off. You're not lying about that, but not 10 tons, I don't think. Oh, no, please don't be giving up the treasure. Yeah, okay. I get it, though. I get it. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> I love her voice. Her voice is great. A lot of good stuff there. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Kid? Kid's going up against the Emperors? Yeah, Luffy, you remember him? Yes. Oh, man, okay. Kid's going for it. Okay. Okay, Tamago trying to trying to play peacemaker here. He sees the treasure. She's not having it. <laughs> She's not having it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the music's kicking in. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Sajin Zoro's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is what he does. <laughs> yeah. We're coming. We're coming. Let's do this. Ah. Oh. Let's go. Oh, Luffy, what's the response? Oh? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Is Luffy going to put his flag up there? Love it. Love it. Oh yes, let's do it. Yeah, I can't have Whitebeard's territory being in these people's hands. Go for it, Luffy. That was great. That was great. I love that there from Luffy. Just laying it down. We're coming. Coming to the new world. Gonna kick your ass all over the new world. Oh man, going up against an emperor this quick. Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. The the themes of her crew are like every one of them seemed very unique like there wasn't a normal design in there you know and it kind of makes sense like when you saw the island whole cake it was called whole cake 
Island. And it was just like, oh, it's like, it was like something out of Alice in Wonderland or, you know, just like a cartoon. Just, so I'm guessing something's happened that someone with a devil fruit has made that island, right? That has been a devil fruit created island. And based on, it makes sense for her character based on what she was saying, you know? Because based on what she was saying to the, was it Bobbin? The Bobbin guy? That... She has places that have quotas, like Fishman Island. So they'll be like, well, I can't remember the name of the place you said, but basically he destroyed it because they couldn't meet their quota. She's like, oh, I'm sad because they had the best baked stuff. So she probably has loads of places that she's got her name attached to where they have to provide her with sweets or food. It's... Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I can't wait to sa for Sanji to see her after the vision he had of what she was going to be like. <laughs> and it looked like she was eating members of her crew or something. Like or she was uh, like saying, in my stomach. You know? Oh, man. What is going on? <sighs> so I'm guessing that she basically because of... We don't have a frame of reference of how old the emperors are. But I'm guessing that Big Mom is older. Like her and Kaido, I'm assuming. Because like we don't have reference except for like stories. Uh, you know, because obviously with Gekko Moria talking about years ago about what happened to them because of Kaido... So Kaido and Big Mom, I'm guessing, have been around for a while. Probably not as old as Whitebeard. Um, but the way she mentioned Gap, I've got to assume she's from that uh, from that generation when like Roger and Gap were around. Uh, you know, just causing havoc. So, oh my, just. The gauntlet has been thrown down against one of the emperors here. Oh, I love it. You know, there's a member, there's long leg tribe now. A, you know, I'm wondering what other kind of tribes we're going to get in the world of One Piece. Um, you know, so what we had, we had long arm, long leg. What's next? What's next? You're going to have... Long torso, long neck, long head. We're going to probably get some more of these, right? But until like, we've got a, a lion, like, talking lion. I like how Luffy said, ah, oh, well, it makes sense. We've got one like that. <laughs> but, you know, I wonder how many, like, human animals... Are they just a thing in the world of One Piece? You know? Because we know that Chopper ate the human human fruit. Right? But then we have Beppo. And it was never really explained. Was it? Does Beppo have a devil fruit? There's Peckham's, like what's what's his deal? I don't know. I, I'm sure it will be explained. Like, Oda will explain these things to me. Um, we'll get the full context eventually. But, like, every member of our crew. So who did we see? We saw, like, Peckham's time ago, Bobbin. There was a girl with three eyes, but I don't think we got her name. Oh, man. Oh. I would love to see it as well. I would love to see... Fishman Island with the straw hat, you know, just the straw hat logo up there. Oh, but we have to beat Big Mom to do that. Oh man, cannot wait. I cannot wait to go to the new world now. Oh, do you know that way where I thought that I didn't think we we're going to go right into it with an emperor because I thought, right, there's going to be new warlords. There's going to be new warlords. We know that Buggy's 
probably going to be one of them based on what we saw there. But there was still, was there another two vacant spots? Was it like Jim, wait a minute, Jimby, Blackbeard, and then Gecko Moria, right? So there was three vacant spots. One of them's probably went to Buggy, like I'm saying. So there's two new, two new warlords, right? And plus we have warlords that we, like Doflamingo, that uh, I'm like, right, we're going to have to go up against him at some point. Because there's warlords that we befriended and warlords we go up against, right? And he's clearly on the bad side, you know? Like, Jimbei, good. Hancock, good. Mihawk, good. We've, we've got them on side, right? Probably Mihawk would go against us. You know, if it, like if he's in a kind of grey area, maybe, but hopefully over these two years he's formed the bond with Zoro. But Dolphalingo was definitely a villain, right? So I was like, right, I thought that he would be, like, we would at least be fighting him before we were taking on any emperors. Oh man, okay, guys, I've got a lot to process there, a lot to process. I love that scene. I love the tension. And everything about it there, you know, it was just, it was a full episode about just meeting these characters and having this conversation with Big Mom. And I absolutely loved it. I just, I was on the edge the whole time. Brilliant, brilliant work. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.